Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel and today I'm going to share with you a very interesting operating system. Yes, you have read the title correctly. The name of the operating system is Mr. Robot. Well, before we get into the video, if you have landed new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel along with pressing the bell icon beside it so that you never miss an awesome tech update from my side. Well, my channel is primarily focused for all the cybersecurity enthusiasts, all tech enthusiasts and if you are uh, planning to come into the field of penetration testing and ethical hacking, then this channel might be, be helpful for you. So having done that, let us move further into the video. Today we are going to explore a very special operating system. The name of the operating system is Mr. Robot and if you have uh, watched the television series Mr. Robot then you might be able to relate something from that particular television series inside this operating system. Well let me tell you first that this operating system is not meant for any kind of primary usage. You are not supposed to use this operating system as a primary operating system because you will not be able to do anything on this operating system. This operating system is primarily focused for for all the ethical hackers, the cybersecurity enthusiasts and the penetration testers to test out their skills. Yes, this is an internationally vulnerable operating system and that means that there are specific flaws, there are specific bugs internationally kept inside this operating system. And that is because so that the penetration testers or if you are in, into cyber security, you can test out your skills, whether you have enough skills or not, whether you can find out that particular bug and exploit the operating system to log in as a root administrator in that particular operating system. Now the operating system is very lightweight, it is very small. The, you get that operating system in a VM file, that is you have to host it on your VMware virtual machine uh, onto your host operating system. And after that, you'll be able to access that particular operating system and explore various aspects, various uh, parts of the operating system. And if you are successful enough to find the bug inside the operating system, then you can exploit it. Now there are total three flags hidden inside the operating system. If you are able to find all the three flags, then you are done with uh, hacking into that particular operating system. Now in this video, I cannot tell you how you can find the bugs or what are the steps, what are the tests you need to perform to find out uh, the three flags hidden inside the operating system that is uh, because it might violate YouTube's policies. So in this video, I will be taking a walkthrough of that operating system, how to load that operating system on your VMware and how to access it. I'll tell you everything about that. And after that, I recommend you to first try it out yourself. And even if you are not able to do that, then you can visit my website. The link will be given in the description below from where you can find the walkthrough how to find out all the three flags. Now, having said that, let's quickly jump into our screen and let us explore the particular vulnerable Mr. Robot operating system. And after watching the complete video, if you did like this video and you found this video to be helpful, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also share this video with all your friends and family. And before leaving, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you never miss an awesome tech update from my side. So let's see what are the steps you have to follow to download and install the Mr. Robot Vulnerable Operating System. So the first thing you have to go to your web browser and go to this particular web page. This website that is www.vulnhub.com. I'm extremely sorry for the background noise. So uh, once you go to the web page, you have to go to search and you have to search for Mr. Robot. Once you type in Mr. Robot, click on go and You'll, the first VM you will see is that particular Mr. Robot VM. So you have to click on it and then you have to download this. As you can see the size is not really big. It's comparatively smaller than any other operating system. You can download the torrent file. I would recommend to download the torrent file because it will be much faster. And the file which you will get is in OVA format. So it is not in the ISO file. It is directly OVA format so you have to host it on your virtual machine. You have to click on this magnet link or you can download the torrent and then your download should complete within a few minutes. Once you have downloaded it you have to go to your VMware workstation. You have to click on open virtual machine and from here you have to select. So like here is my Mr. Robot VM. You have to select the torrent file which was downloaded the OVA format file. As you can see it's open virtualization file. Once you select it, click on open and here you can name it and click on import and this will start your virtual machine. Now I have already done that so I will not be doing this step once again. I will just cancel it and I will directly take you to the virtual machine. Now once it is done, you will the machine will start uh, by itself but uh, you have to first close that machine. You have to power off that machine. Uh, and you have to go to edit virtual machine settings 
and we'll keep everything as default we don't need more than 512 mb of ram we don't need hard disk uh, amount of space just because this is uh, just for our testing purposes we do not need to do any particular work on it what you have to do is we have to go to network adapter and by default it will be selected as bridge you have to change this to NAT so that you are able to access this machine on your local network so change this network adapter from bridged to NAT and then click on OK once you have done that you have to simply power on this virtual machine and to wait for a couple of minutes now it will take some time to boot up but don't worry once you are booted up you will be greeted with a login screen and our main task is to log in onto this virtual machine you are nowhere given the administrator uh, name and password so our task is to find out the administrator name and password and successfully log into it as you can see our mr robot machine has booted up and here is the linux login screen now if i, uh, I can try various passwords and this usernames but it will not work i've tried root and root as both login id and password is incorrect i can try admin admin it will still be incorrect as you can see i can try admin root still incorrect i can try root dor as it is for kali linux it is still be incorrect so we don't know what is the login id and password so our main task is to find out the login id and password so for that first you have to go to your kali linux machine or any other pen testing operating system whichever you are using so i am using kali linux so you have to open up your kali linux terminal and our first primary task is to find out the IP address of this particular machine as you can see since we are not able to log in no commands will work I cannot find out its IP address I'm sorry uh, nothing will work until and unless I can log into this machine so our first task is to find out the IP address and after that you have to find out the various vulnerabilities you have to perform various different tests to find out the vulnerability and execute it execute the vulnerability exploit the machine and find out the three hidden flags once you are able to find the third flag you are successful to log inside the uh, mr robot virtual machine and your challenge will be completed so to find out the ip address what we can do we can simply use net discover then put a i and then put your interface so right now this is my virtual machine so i am connected by ethernet because virtual machines often connect via ethernet when you choose the nat setting if you uh, are using an external wi-fi adapter you can use wlan 0 or else in ethernet you can use eth 0 now by the time it scans the network let me show you how to find out your network tab how to find out your network interface so you can simply type in i config in a new terminal and you can see my eth0 is my network interface right now the ethernet interface if you had a wi-fi adapter connected then you will find uh, wlan0 okay so now we can see that our net discover has started giving us some results so these are the various IP addresses of the machines or the devices connected. Now all of these are VMware machines. So right now two VMware machines are running on. That is Kali Linux and Mr. Robot. So I am supposing one of these must be Kali Linux and the other one must be Mr. Robot. Now, the simple way to do is that to navigate to this machine. Simply we can type 192.168.95. 131 was the first one I think. Yes. 31. Okay, so this is our Mr. Robot machine. Let me just maximize it. There is some kind of video playing on on the server on the 
Mr. Robot operating system. The operating system is working like a server. So this is some kind of uh, video that is being played on it. And okay, some interactive interface has come up. Now here yeah, we cannot type in the normal Linux commands. Yeah, as you can see that we cannot type in any normal Linux commands. We are given a set of commands: the prepare, society, inform, question, backup, and join. Okay, so that is very cool. What you can do, you can perform uh, these particular commands and see what happens. So, suppose I time. Oh, so, so suppose I type the first command: prepare. This is playing some kind of video. So, if you have seen the Mr. Robot TV series, then you can easily relate it. Some kind of video playing on, just making it interactive. So, sir, switch this off. You can try the other commands as well. Let us see what is that society doing. Okay, so this is again a kind of video playing. Hmm. Okay. Let us see what is inform doing. Okay. So this is giving us some kind of screenshots, some information about the TV series Mr. Robot so that's very cool this operating system has been made very user friendly and very interactive let's close this let's again type help okay okay let's type in the next command so these are a lot of predefined screenshots some videos which you can explore this is this has been made to just uh, make this operating system user interactive and the operating system is running some kind of server on it and now this must essentially mean that we can exploit the server using the web address so you have to perform all the kinds of tests all the kind of penetration tests all the kind of scans which you would normally do on a website to find a bug on a website so i cannot tell you all the step by step procedure i recommend you to first try it out yourself first try it out your penetration testing skills do all the tests which you would uh, otherwise do on a normal website to find out any bug or to capture any flag on a website so try out those because this is simply a server and uh, the server is basically replicating any kind of website this is just a website so Try out your penetration testing skills. If you, I'm pretty sure you'll succeed this because this is very easy level of uh, VM uh, vulnerable VM. So that is all for this video, guys. If you did like this video, make sure give this video a big thumbs up. If you found this video to be helpful, share this video with all your friends and family. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel along with pressing the bell icon beside you so that you would never miss an awesome tech update from my side. And finally, before leaving, I would like to give you a very small hint to start testing on this vulnerable VM is that you should perform a nmap network scan on this particular server which will essentially reveal a lot of useful information which will be very helpful to perform the further scans.